YouTube family. Let's talk about it. So, little baby gets talked about today on Vlad TV, but nothing negative or something like that, unless y'all take it like that. Lil Boosie gives his opinion on the Atlanta rapper. He gives his opinion about when he got the fake chain slash watch. It was a watch, I remembered, because I don't try to start trouble and tease people for a situation, but I agree with Boosie as far as you pay attention to things like this to see if it can happen to you. So you try to learn from somebody else's mistake. Now I'm about to go to Boosie speaking on this, but let's play these bills right quick, y'all. Okay, Boosie Boo gives his opinion on Vlad TV about the same jeweler Boosie on Vlad and Lil Baby getting scammed by the same jeweler because Vlad also spoke his piece about the situation. Anniversary watch. Baby, he recently posted uh, this $400,000 Patek Philippe uh, anniversary watch. Yeah. And uh, shortly after posting it, there was a, a popular Instagram page called Fake Watch Buster that basically showed the watch that he, sh you know, he was he was displaying side by side with the actual real watch and it was showing how the whole thing was bootleg you know the you know the the font on the date was a little bit wrong and the hands were a little bit wrong and everything else like that and what's actually funny is the jewelry company that he got that that fake watch from i had actually gotten a watch from before myself it's actually this watch right here it's a, it's a Rolex President 2, right? I, I traded in a Hublot King Power watch, uh, a rose gold watch for this watch. And when I went to go get it, I want to find out. Get that, to the point, you know, they got you too? Well, it's a yellow gold watch, right? One of the links in the back was rose gold. What they did with their baby? Baby, right. the deal supposed to be. This was the deal supposed to be. Fuck them four rings. I'm coming in here once a month. I want three hundred thousand dollars in jewelry every every month I come in here. Was <laughs> one of the links rose gold when this is yellow gold? They but been then I come doing to find that. Out, See, they got a man. Yeah. Ba I would have made them be paid the piper. Right. Yeah, you would have paid the piper. You know the the glass on the on, on my watch wasn't even actual real Rolex glass, so it cost me a couple of watch to make it back original Rolex again. Man, you know what I mean? And I never really mentioned it before because I, I wasn't trying to make a big deal out of it. But but this, they've been doing mm -hmm. their faces and all that shit. They've been doing that. They just got busted, bro. You don't do yep. no nigga spending that kind of money with you. That's a house. Yeah. That's a fucking house. Yeah. Nice ass house. I'm talking about that bitch nice. My builder gonna build the fuck out of it. 400,000. <laughs> How many other people he didn't got? Yeah, oh, yeah, bro. No, I mean, listen, the only reason why the jeweler even got caught is because baby Instagram. Now, before we play the rest of this interview with Boosie and Vlad TV, I wanted to look at some things and look at, you know, the baby, I mean, a little baby. I can't believe I said the baby. You say the word baby so much, it's like, you know, it keeps you saying it the same thing. But little baby, he responded to the allegations and he responded to the backlash. And this is what he said to it. Let's read it together. Y'all already know. All right, hang on. I'm a. This is the watch over here, and you can clearly see the missing things with the real one and the fake one. Let's make sure we give you guys a better scene view. That's the fake watch right here. That's the one that everybody spotted in that famous picture. Well, now famous picture. And Lil Baby said this about it. Hang on. Let me put it on the screen again. He said, let's read it on the bigger screen, y'all. Y'all, excuse me. He said, damn, that is crazy. Somebody told him, yeah, bro, I hope you can get your money back. He said, for sure. I got that from blank. Ain't no way he go play like that. I'm glad I seen this. And he, 
boy, he was glad. And not only that, the guy who ended up giving little baby the fake watch or whatever, he would respond to little baby, and he responded kind of crazy. If y'all want me to be honest, it was Raffaello and Cole. You know, they give little baby four different watches before the response. Let me let me show y'all the response before the watches. This was it right here. I don't know if they can, you know, no, the real ones, they don't talk like this. The real ones call you, if they know you, DM you, yo, Gabe, what's cracking? What's going on? Talk to me. But, you know, that's what I'm talking about. See, like, you guys, you guys think, you know, like, shit doesn't happen to you guys or, like, it won't ever happen to you guys. Maybe not on, you know, jewelry level, but other, other things in life. Shit happens. Like, shit happens in life. Like, it's, it's insane, but, you know, it happens. I, I did the right thing. I fixed my face. You know, yeah. I gave this man what I needed to give him, and that was that. You know, and he still went and did what he did and posted that bullshit. But it's all good though. The real ones know who I am, the real ones know what's up, and that's just that. Plain and simple. Because I know if he wasn't, if he didn't accept my apology, he would never take those rings. Right or wrong? You would never take the rings. You would not post them, not say whatever, but he posts my shit. Before we go to the jeweler continue speaking about what happened, let's go to those rings back again. This is what he's referring to, the rings he gave to Lil Baby and Lil Baby posted them up. He's talking about these rings right here. Lil Baby posted up the rings, you feel me? And after he posted up the rings, he said, we do stand on our name just like he does. That's why... Today, he got those four rings for free and his money back because we didn't do our homework on the watch and we take full responsibility for that. But it didn't happen intentionally and he knows that for a fact. I mean, you know, it looked like this, you know, dude want his name valid. He want his face card to be perfect. He don't want nobody to think he feeding people dog food out here. He want people to know it's the real Deal. And I got to give it up to a jeweler, too, who can say what he say, you know, to back himself up out of a bad situation. But this still going to leave me saying I do not trust any of these jewelers. Now, let's go. There's something furthermore that was said, you know what I'm saying? Because the jeweler also went on. I think it was TMZ to give his statement. But before we go to that, let's go to what Ben Jeweler. I mean, Ben Baller had to say about the entirety of the fake watch. I mean, this is the thing, man. You know, right now with the watch game, right now in the last eight months, it's gone so high that watches are 300 to 500 percent marked up. Wow. You know, what sucks is the, the tech beliefs are so limited that you have to have a secondhand market. <coughs> it kind of is unfortunate, but you want to deal with a reputable person. You know, 47th Street in New York. You know, it's 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 hit and miss. It's like. You got vultures on there, you got crazy people, you got people who are reputable, you got people who don't. And what happens with that, with Gabe, because I know him from Raffaello, you know, right. you make one bad move, and now it makes the whole street look bad. Right, right. You know, and it makes a brand name, it's hard to come back from that. You know what I'm saying? It's a really bad fake, man. Wow. You know, you look at that watch, and like, whoa, you know, it's like, I mean, he, was, he did the right thing, though, by, you know, giving him his money back. I mean, what, what could he do? extra change, right? Yeah, I mean, what could he do? It was just, it was just unfortunate. I think that, you know, if you can, our little baby said, um, hey, Protect Philippe, I need to get on a list. There's no list. There's no you know, you have to build a relationship with each Protect Philippe boutique. And AR, you know what I'm saying? Which is, I'm sorry, AD. Right, AD. AD, which is authorized dealers. So basically, you know, you want to go to Protect Philippe or Rodeo Drive or Boca Raton or on 57th and, you know, in New York City. You got to build a relationship with the later flip it but then once you get a relationship with these dealerships right. you know then they'll start i mean shout out to ben baller for explaining it but Batman man also spoke about it on say cheese tv with sean cotton how it's fake you know i mean you spoke on it before about these jewelers they're the finesse gods of the industry they know how to prey on people and you know and make that extra extra buck or two but it's also easy to get over on. You even told me before it happened to you too. Before. Yeah, most of the time these jewelers sell aftermarket watches. Aftermarket uh, is real, but I say about, it's real, but you can't go to Richard Milley. You can't go to Patek. You can't go to AP 
and ask them to fix your watch. They're not going to fix it because they're going to tell you it's aftermarket. Automatically, to me, that kind of means that it's not real, but it's real. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can really only take your watch back to the jeweler to get the real and all types of other stuff to get ahead in life. But when it's an aftermarket watch, they can just really tell you anything. They can make it this swift movement. His name, if you try to bring, like, nigga, you trying to bring my name down or something? Like, why would you sell me a fake watch? Everybody know Lil Baby Rich. Everybody know the jeweler did it. So if you're going to, like, mess up my name, you really need to pay for it because I'm, it's, I'm suffering damages, you know? Now, you heard what Kevo said. You heard what Boosie said. Now, the jeweler also went again on TMZ to speak. They literally couldn't even tell. Even this morning, one of the one of the dealers comes to me and says, Gabe, I sold this watch. I was going to buy it from you. I couldn't even tell. So, you know, I, I definitely, I, I missed it. So now moving forward, I have to have a way different speeding process where, you know, I'm looking to hire, you know, a professional, you know, watch, um, not even a maker, like a watch authenticator that's going to authenticate these watches. Do you have any clients that have been working with you that are like reaching out right now? Like, I want to authenticate my stuff. And, and how is that working? Are you helping them to do that? Of, of course, I'm going to help them. Yes, I'm helping them. I'm, you know, it's, uh, they, can do, they can do all that. They have their paperwork, they have everything. No issue with that I mean, this guy looked like he took a huge L. It's good to know that people can combat these situations and make things right. We hope little baby and everybody got their situations fixed. That's the only reason. He'd be sitting there, baby'd be sitting there with this $3 watch that he paid, you know, $399,997 too much for not knowing anything because it, it's not like it was obviously fake you know you had to really know what you're bruh, looking at bro you bro when you dealing with somebody and you spending that type of money and other people spending that type of money bro that ain't in your mind that there's no fake you gotta understand that man like salute the boosie for explaining that once again shout out to vlad tv shout out to say cheese tv tmz and everybody that we use today look y'all have a blessed day i'm your god blessed one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip hop live